Hey, it's Ronnie. Yeah, it's me. I look like ass. I've been out fixing all day. It's Sunday about 8 o'clock my time. Uh, I promised I'd do a little review about if these super cheap speakers were worth it. I touched them up. Those are ones that were broken. The center channel was shit. Uh, I took the guts out of the center channel and put in that onkyo and in that onkyo. But, you know, for 32 bucks, here it is. We're going to put the screws to her without my sub running, all right? Jordan Lucas, Penn State. Okay, that's wide open at 70 watts of channel off this den on, and they didn't smoke or blow up, so okay. But it says on the back of them speakers, uh, they're rated 200 watts each, uh, not even close. But I said, this, this den on that I got used puts out max 70 watts, which is, you know, horse crap. But yeah, uh, so do I recommend them speakers? And I said I'd put a link to the eBay seller. Uh, probably not, because they're beat up. You know, I had to get my hot milk glue gun out and put the caps on the end of speakers. I said the center channel was too big, but it was broken, and I couldn't fix it. 32 bucks. If you like twine with super cheap stuff, yeah. But, you know, watch the earlier videos, you see what you get. And I said, it's not from China, but no, they work and they sound fine. I haven't smoked them so far, but I'm going to show you a difference what a subwoofer makes because these speakers are not getting any low-end punch whatsoever because I have the den on set for my subwoofer, so I got to turn that on. And no, this ain't no toy subwoofer. This is expensive but I got it super cheap off eBay it's a JBL 300 watt 12 inch sub but I bought that about six years ago and it cost me like $95 shipped to my house and it's a $500 sub now you want to see the difference watch I'm bragging to have to change the channel so far, the Bengals on Bear with me. We need something that has base to it. So we're just going to go through the regular TV channel. There you go. Just a commercial. You know, they say the Graves twins are collectors. No music. Because my tuner, I don't have an antenna yet. First, Fred Hubble admits he wants to raise taxes. We're going to have to fill back all those tax cuts. Now, he's trying to lie about it. Before. Hubble wants higher income taxes, higher sales taxes. Yeah, a little different, isn't it? All right. We're going to have to fill back all those tax cuts. <laughs> Under Hubble's plan, the average family pays $1,000 a year. Yeah, a little different, but I'm going to turn that sub back off. But I can show you and teach you how to build a sub like that and not five hundred dollars under a hundred bucks if, if if you're handy but yeah cool breeze but would i recommend it to normal people no if you like to tinker and just looking cheap you know uh da vinci i said they're they're not made in china i never have i looked at i had them apart and there's not even a uh <laughs> uh, country of origin on the internal speakers but they work and they're okay except they were beat to death all right so now uh, another thing uh, if anybody's interested I have another plan let me hit something just shuddering off uh, how to uh, do like have a bow sound system these are about the size of a 6x9 okay I want to show you that here they are. Ah, these are pioneers, but they're just one ways with the horn. But you know, see, 
They're about the same size and they have base. So if anybody's interested, I can show you how to take and buy pioneers or piles or something and make smaller. I can show you how to make your own 5.1 surround sound system for, you know, that kicks butt and it'll handle a whole bunch of watts. If you have a good surround amp, that'll do it. That'll take, you know, max 200 for each speaker, no bull crap, out of Pioneers or Piles or Boss. And, yeah, I'm just wondering if anybody would be interested. Those are for my home stereo. They're not hooked up to the TV, you know, because I got big dogs. No, I, I build speakers and stuff. So, yeah, <laughs> I know all the frequency responses. These guys, you know, the biggest ripoff is like, Surround sound, Bose, the acoustic wave, what a freaking joke. But okay, we're going to get off that. If anybody here would be interested, I might just spend a hundred bucks and uh, show you what you can do without a subwoofer. You heard the difference, okay, with that sub turned on. Well, if you got good 6 by 9s there's only 20 hertz frequency response difference between that sub and having 6 by 9s sitting right here. If you got them in a correct little box that you can buy at Walmart for, I believe, 20 bucks for the pair of boxes and put a good 6 by 9 two ways in them, and you'll kick butt. Yeah, I know what I'm doing. I got all the computer lockup stuff, you know, to check them out. I said I built speakers for years. I built my own PA speakers. I know all the frequency responses. You can get by without a $500 sub and do better than a Bose Acoustic Wave if they still make them with the two speakers. That was 600 bucks. Yeah, you can do it for like, you know, if you're handy and just buy the stuff, put screws in them, hook them up. Probably 100 bucks. You know, just two or three speakers. If you want to do five, yeah, you can do that too. <laughs> a lot cheaper. <clears throat> if, if you like to tinker, you can do it a hell of a lot cheaper than buying their junk. These are three and a half inch speakers, okay, right in here. That's a one inch tweeter, but it makes it look really big. These are six inches that I'd replace, and those are techniques, top of the line, you know, back in 98, which were top of the line. A lot more top of the line than now. Okay, what you buy now for speakers are a freaking joke. And to find a pair of speakers like this are techniques from 19, about 92. They have a 12 inch woofer and a 12 inch passive radiator. And first, when they first came out with solid state piezo horns. There you go. Pretty cool. Eh? I got that for a from my older brother Dennis, uh, I built him a real neat cabinet because I build cabinets and stuff and I made him this cabinet for his military swords and stuff. I'm sorry about the reflection. Yeah, that's a, just a picture of it. But yeah, and he, he gave me them speakers because he wanted to sell them on eBay and didn't really have any hits. So he said, hey, here you go. I'll take them. But yeah, I build huge speakers, PA speakers that take 2,000 watts a piece, you know, and get the acoustics right. So that's what I'm saying right now, but that's my uh, little ad about the Da Vinci speakers. I said, and there's some people on the, online right now saying they have Samsungs for uh, like 30 bucks and 20 hour shipping. Don't believe it. They're fake. At least these aren't fake. Like I said they're yeah for thirty two bucks if you got time to play on a budget and I said you just want surround in an area. This is twenty two feet by sixteen feet basically without a sub and you just want to watch movies and stuff. It's cool. All right, I'm gonna stop this vid. Uh, I have to find me something to eat and take a shower, but I'll probably make another video. I got something else to talk about, too, uh, about tarot cards and the other stuff, which nobody cares about, so I'm working on stuff. All right, but, yeah, I'll be back. Thanks, but I would say 
you know, if you're if you're a tinker and you know what you're going to get for thirty two dollars, yeah, they're worth the thirty two bucks. I spent forty five minutes to an hour gluing back together, transferring speakers out of the mid range to the Unkios that were crap. Yeah, I definitely would not pay uh, $400 for surround sound, just the speakers from Unkyo, if they're still in business. Like I showed you, they're junk. All right. All right. I'll be back. Have a good one. Let me know what you think. Leave comments, what you want to see. Uh, yeah, I need uh, I'll talk about working on my vehicles later here. Okay. Bye. Be ahead. 32 bucks. If you like to tinker and they're not broken, they're awesome.